I am making this video to encourage people, not to just tell these stories and stuff like that, but to show you if I was able to change, anyone is able to change. Because I thought that I would never ever change. I'm serious. Now, I believe I told you all that when I was young or when I was a kid, my mom would always take me to church. So once I got older, I moved out. <laughs> I would have moved out quicker than that, but <laughs> because who really likes as a child going to church two to three times a week? My Lord, man. But anyways, I was doing what is funny, not really funny, but some people believe that if you were born in a Christian family, that that is supposed to make you a good child or something like that, or you, you are going to be more inclined to do what is right. No, with me, <laughs> once I got out on my own, I wanted to do everything. Everything that I knew was wrong. I'm serious. Anyways, there came a time where something really, really, really bad happened. <laughs> and there was nothing that I could do within my own power. Nothing. I tried. Nothing. So I was thinking perhaps I should serve God. So there was this period of time where I was reading the Bible for hours and I was learning things and stuff like that. So I was saying to myself, well, let me try to change and test out the things that I have learned in the Bible. So I begin or begun to test them out and it seemed to work. So at that time period, I was trying to live for God. <laughs> I was trying to live for God, but I was not willing to give up the people that I would hang with. And I was not really hanging with, or should I say, I was not willing to totally give up my life, my sinful life. You know, I wanted to be with that particular woman that I was with and do all this other stuff. So I just fell right back into sin right there. And some other bad things happened. You know what's funny? When bad things begin to happen, that's when people want to think about God then, you know? <laughs> So, when some more bad things happened, I suffered a lot. I suffered a whole lot because I was so foolish. Because I did not want to do the right thing. So, I started to go to church again, like twice a week or more. Now, I was going to church, but I was sinning as much as I have always did. This is why I say to people, just because you go to church does not mean you are a Christian. 
it is you are just a sinful person going to church that is what you are that was what I was so you know I did not want to give up my life I wanted to change but I enjoyed doing what I liked to do you know I did not want to get married because I was thinking what is the point being with one woman or whatever else like that it is fun doing what you want to do that's what I thought then I started to learn more and more about the Bible I started to learn about the law of reaping and sowing so whatever you do it is going to come back to you and around that time period I was really crazy about money like I wanted to make money I did not whatever but some things to make money and I knew that what I was doing was wrong but I'm like well doing things in the usual way is not really going to get you far that's what I thought but like I said or as I stated I learned about the law of reaping and sowing and I would notice the bad things that would come to me because of the things that I was doing. So I counted the cost. So for instance, let's say that, for instance, let's say I make $20,000 or something like that. And let's say because I was doing the wrong thing, by for since I am going to reap what I sow I knew that I was going to get punished by God so I figured he is either going to make me sick or have my car break down or do something where it is going to cost me money so I figured if my profit range is twenty thousand dollars or something like that perhaps God is going to punish me with a ten thousand dollar fine so that right there is a ten thousand dollar profit yes I am reaping what I am sowing but I am still making a profit yes I know that is very bad I was <laughs> I was very bad I knew the laws of God but I was still doing what I wanted to do because I thought that like I said doing things in the usual way was not going to pay off so I figured yes God may make me sick or you know I may get headaches or perhaps you know get an asthma attack or I may have to go to the hospital even with that bill I'm looking at the money I make and counting the cost of having fun and stuff like that toward what disobeying God would cost me which is kind of stupid no which is stupid because I could have died. <laughs> I did not account a <laughs> dying in the equation. So, <laughs> but that is how I would carry on. So, and then. It got to the point where I got really, really careless. <laughs> uh, I don't want to tear up. <laughs> don't tear up. Don't tear up. No tearing up. Okay. It got to the point where I got really, really careless. 
and I should have gotten in trouble plenty of times, man. Plenty, plenty, plenty of times. And not only one time, but quite a few times. And I started to say to myself, hey, perhaps I need to stop this. Perhaps I should really give my life to God. And even after that point, <laughs> even after that point, you know, I was really trying to change, but because of doing all of those foolish things, it was really difficult for me to change. And there were many times where I would cry out to God, asking him, just in a very loud voice, asking him to help me and help me, help me, help me, help me. And to make a long story short or shorter, this one night, and it is hard to explain, this one night, I don't know what word to use, but I felt either the power of God or his presence. I don't know what to call it, but I was watching this video about a woman speaking about heaven and hell and watching that. Now, I have heard about hell plenty of times. I had dreams, like so many dreams about hell. You won't believe <laughs> how many times I had a dream about hell and it would scare me, but I would still go back to sin. But this time, this time was different. And I was just crying and repenting and like that whole week, I was researching about God and trying to learn as much as I could about him. And I was tested pretty hard even after. From that point to now, especially around that time period, I was really being tested hard. But I changed ever since that one night. And I am just telling you parts and pieces of the things that I used to do. Only, not even pieces. Like, I guess you can say pieces, I guess. <laughs> if I can change, you can change as well. Because, like I said, I really noticed that I should have gotten in trouble, man, <laughs> plenty of times, easily. And this one day, you know, when I was in sin and stuff, I was thinking, how did I not get into trouble? Like, that is impossible. Like, the person saw me, blah, blah, blah. There is no way. Like, how can you not know? That is the grace of God right there. Probably God knew that I would be the way that I am now. I don't know. So, this should really encourage you here. Because I was nothing like I am now. Nothing. Not even close not even close so i pray that all of this makes sense so no matter how bad you are you can change and if you heard what i said when i felt the power of god or the presence of god whatever that was 
I felt it all over me, everywhere. People are trying to change within their own power. And you can't do it within your own power. You can't. How can you? You are just a human. You need the assistance of God to change. Otherwise, how can you do it? There is no way that I could have changed from the way that I was if not, if God did not do whatever he did that night. Because I don't think I cried like that either ever or in a long time. Because I knew that if I continued to go the way that I was going, <laughs> I would have been in trouble. <laughs> a lot of trouble. My Lord. So I pray that this all makes sense. Please give your life to God. Stay close to him. Because you may not receive as much grace that I have received. Who knows? I could have died too, many times. Okay, God bless.